Good morning, girls. I'm going to talk to you this morning about the way you look. Now, I've heard it said that we women attach too much importance to our appearance. But that isn't true. After all, the way we look exerts so much influence on the way we feel and on the way other people feel about us that it really is very important. When I talk about good appearance or good grooming or looking your best, you probably think immediately of clothes or hairstyle or makeup. Well, I realize that those things are especially interesting to you, and they are important, and I am going to talk about them. But uh, please remember that they are just really the trimmings. Just like the icing on the cake. If the icing is very good, well, that's fine. But if the cake itself isn't good, you'd soon lose interest in the icing. So let's start with the cake and come back to the trimmings later. Basically, of course, Good health and intelligent physical care are the foundations of all beauty. We all want a lovely skin, shining eyes, a beautiful smile, and loads of pep. But we can't have them except in a healthy, clean body. And I mean clean. Remember, you can't have good looks without soap and water. There's no substitute for the daily bath as a groundwork for glamour. Brilliant teeth need brushing. Gleaming hair means frequent and thorough shampooing. And keep that air of freshness by using a deodorant regularly. It's a shortcut to social security. Sleep comes next to cleanliness as a beauty base. And I mean sleep. Not just going to bed, if that means sitting up writing letters or listening to music. I've seen lots of sparkling eyes and good complexion sacrificed to swing records at bedtime. Mind you, I I'm all for music in its place. But there is a lot of sound sense in that old expression, beauty sleep. So snap out that light early enough every night to get eight or nine hours of this most effective beauty treatment. And then there's this business of eating. It worries me to see that so many girls think a balanced diet consists of soda pop and a sandwich or a big gooey sundae. Let's remember what we were taught in home economics about a well-balanced diet, meat, cheese, eggs or fish, milk, butter, bread, fresh fruits, especially citrus fruits, green and starchy vegetables in proper proportion, and of course some sweets. And please go easy on fried foods. Beautiful skin, vitality, glossy hair, all the things you want begin with a balanced diet. So watch it girls, it pays big dividends. Then there's exercise preferably outdoors. And when I say exercise, many of you may think of work. Well, a little work is a helpful beauty hint, but so is outdoor play. I'll leave it to your own conscience whether you work in the garden, ride a bike, play ball, hike, swim or ski. But try to spend some time every day outdoors, developing the grace that comes from toned up muscles and the complexion that goes with good circulation. And even the ordinary things that you do every day can help to make you more graceful. But not if you do them like this. Walking upstairs, reaching up to a high shelf, dusting, all can be good body conditioning if you use your muscles to do them vigorously instead of slouching through them. I'd like to speak to you, please, Miss Stuyvesant. Oh, well, go right ahead. I want you girls to ask me questions. Well, I guess I have what you call a round face. And I wear my hair the way you said I shouldn't. But I don't see how things like that and posture and mannerisms and the other things will make a girl more popular if she's not pretty to begin with. Sometimes I'd like to shake you girls when you worry so much about being pretty or not being pretty. As though prettiness were a woman's only attraction. If you'd spend just one month doing everything I talked about to make the most of your appearance, you wouldn't need to worry about being pretty or popular. I wish that I could wave a magic wand to show you what the difference would be. Presto, like that. Why, it does work. You will be prettier. You will be more popular. That's all.